It's David Wagner again. Hi, I'm the designer and creator of Gyro HPH, which is, stands for Human Powered Helicopter. What you are looking at here is um, blueprint number two, which shows the prop transmission uh, side view. Now, right here you see this is going to be the transmission part, and I'll, I guess the best way for me to to do everything here is just to explain what you're looking at so you can understand what it is. This blue right here is the um, uh, inner hex tower. This blue with the stripe on here is the outer hex tower, although on the other one it was black. I made it blue here. Um, this right here is the wing spar hub, um, which is splined in the middle. Okay. This is my main shaft, which is also splined. We'll explain that in a minute. Okay. These um, blue ones over here on either side are my push rods. And this is my push rod lifting plate in the gray here. This yellow is my wheel lift platform. Uh, these are high, sp in the orange here we have uh, high speed uh, wheels uh, which are going to be spinning underneath the uh, lifting plate. Here we have a, uh, it's going to be a modified uh, bike derailleur, okay, which is going to provide the lift for this plate, uh, lift up and down. Uh, you see the pathway here uh, that the wheel will eventually go through once we adjust the size of the wheels. Um, but the up and down motion of the wheel lifting plate uh, is going to be controlled by uh, this modified bike derailleur. So we have the main shaft going down through here. Everywhere where you see green like this, these are bearings, okay? These are square uh, bearings which will be mounted into, into the uh, transmission tower. This blue here is all the transmission tower. The gray which you see above and below each of the, um, uh, the uh, bearings, the, lo the upper bearing, the lower bearing, uh, these are retainer rings. Um, so now we'll, we'll try to explain uh, what's going on here. I don't know if you can see here, maybe if I tilt it, whoop, we don't want to tilt it that far. Uh, up at the top there, see that spline? This is what, what, what the, the hub is going to look like uh, when it's created. It's going to be splined. These are, these are the hollow out female spline parts, and these are the set screws right here that are going to hold it in place. Now, what we're looking at here is the main driving force of the gyro human powered helicopter. And the way that this is, is going to work is um, power from the rider is going to be transferred up to this lower narrow shaft, three quarters of an inch here at the bottom. Okay. A, a belt is going to come up. If I can just use my hand here, it's going to kind of come up and head this way uh, towards the transmission, which is going to be right here. It will spin this shaft, okay? So as the rider is starting to ride, uh, this whole prop up here is going to be turning this way and spinning the shaft. Now, as it's spinning, the, this, the, this gray part here is the, the main wing spar that goes through the prop wing. I got a little uh, green one here to show you kind of what it looks like, okay? Which will fit between here and here. And what we have is this. So as it starts to, to spin round and round and round, um, uh, the main prop is secured, held in place, locked in place, okay, on the spline. We made it spline because we didn't want this hub to shift and turn because if it shifts and turn, it will move these push rods which have to be kept in, a, in, a, in the correct location. And there are two of these push rods located left and right uh, on each and every one of the prop wing spars. So this right here is this right here that you're looking at. So there's two um, push rods. One is mounted a little higher, one is a little lower, and there's a reason for that. They are mounted onto a um, pivot plate. And the pivot plate has got a pivot right here in the middle. So what you see right here and right here, it, this is an enlargement of it, okay, is uh, there's a pivot plate here. There are two push rods attached here, and so what they are doing is 